Raise your hand. What if a machine could predict the winning lottery numbers? We have computers that can beat grandmasters at chess, simulate galaxies, and predict hurricanes. So why not the lottery? It's a seductive idea. High-tech wizardry meets the desire to get rich quick. But the dream remains out of reach, lost in astronomical odds. Isn't the lottery just another data set with hidden patterns a machine could find? Can AI crack the code and outsmart probability? We'll explore how lotteries work and why randomness is a formidable opponent. This is about understanding the limits of our creations. We're going to bust myths and examine randomness. By the end you'll see why the lottery remains a game of chance, and why luck is still your best bet. The dream of predicting the lottery is as old as the lottery itself. For centuries people have looked for an edge. They've used lucky numbers, birth dates, and complex numerology systems. They've tracked hot and cold numbers, hoping to spot a trend where none exists. Today, that age-old quest has a new, modern face technology. The hope has shifted from mystical patterns to mathematical ones, from superstitions to algorithms. The new crystal ball is not made of glass, it's built from silicon chips and lines of code. The promise is that an AI, with its ability to process information at lightning speed, can do what no human mind ever could, find the flaw in the system. This idea is so powerful because it taps into our faith in technology's ever-expanding power. We live in an era of prediction. Your smartphone predicts the next word you want to type. Your favorite streaming service predicts the next movie you'll love. GPS predicts traffic jams and finds you a faster route. We are surrounded by predictive algorithms that make our lives easier and more efficient. It feels like a natural next step to apply this same predictive power to a game of chance. If a computer can predict the weather, a vastly complex and chaotic system, surely it can handle six little numbers drawn from a plastic drum. But here we encounter the central conflict of our story. The lottery is not like the weather or a stock market trend or your taste in music. Those systems while complex are governed by underlying causes and effects. The weather follows the laws of physics. Your movie preferences are based on your past viewing history. The lottery, however, is designed with a single overriding principle in mind, to be completely and utterly random. Each draw is meant to be an independent event, with no memory of what came before and no influence on what comes next. It's a system actively engineered to have no patterns to find. So, our investigation begins here, at the intersection of hope and reality. We will first explore the mechanics of the lottery itself. How are those winning numbers actually chosen? We'll look at the physical drawing machines with their bouncing balls and the digital random number generators that power online games. Understanding this foundation of randomness is the crucial first step. Only then can we properly assess whether the tools of AI and supercomputing have any hope of dismantling it. Predicting the lottery is a monumental challenge. We have to look at how the numbers are born. Let's start with the classic method. It's a physical machine, a transparent drum filled with numbered balls. These aren't just any ping-pong balls, they are carefully crafted and precisely weighted to be as identical as possible. The goal is to create a system where every single ball has an equal and independent chance of being selected. This mechanical heart of chance is the lottery's first line of defense against prediction. It's a system built on pure, unadulterated physical chaos. When the machine starts, jets of air are blasted into the drum, creating a whirlwind of motion. The system is designed to amplify these minuscule variations, making the final result impossible to forecast. This physical system is a fortress built of probability, designed to be impregnable to forecasting. Ultimately, these machines are marvels of low-tech engineering designed to defeat high-tech prediction. The simplest systems can create the most complex and unbreakable randomness. Modern lotteries use random number generators, or RNGs. This computer algorithm produces a sequence of numbers with no discernible pattern. The goal is to ensure every number combination has an equal chance of being chosen. There are two main types of RNGs, pseudo-random number generators, PRNGs, and hardware, random number generators, HRNGs. PRNGs use mathematical formulas, making them theoretically predictable. HRNGs, also known as true random number generators, use physical phenomena. They tap into unpredictable events like atmospheric noise or radioactive decay. Official lotteries use tamper-proof HRNGs isolated and rigorously tested to ensure fairness. What makes true randomness an unbreachable fortress against prediction? A sequence is truly random if each event is statistically independent of all others. 
In the lottery this means each draw is a fresh start. This differs from AI's predictive algorithms which find hidden correlations in vast data sets. True randomness contains no information to learn from, it's the absence of pattern. It's like asking a detective to solve a crime that never happened. This is the wall that predictive technology hits when facing the lottery. It's not a puzzle but unpredictability. The ultimate fortress of randomness stands undefeated because of its perfect emptiness. To understand if a computer can outsmart the lottery, we need to understand what a computer actually does. At its core, a computer is a prediction machine. It works by analyzing data from the past to make educated guesses about the future. Think of a weather forecast. A supercomputer crunches historical weather data to identify patterns. This is the essence of digital intelligence. Artificial intelligence, especially machine learning, takes this concept to a whole new level by sifting through datasets far larger than any human could analyze. But here's the critical point. This entire process hinges on one fundamental assumption that the past contains information that is relevant to the future. This is where the lottery throws a wrench in the works because it is specifically designed to break this link between the past and the future. Therefore, the historical data of past winning numbers is completely and utterly useless. What happens when you point an AI at lottery numbers? It will try to find a pattern. The human brain, and the AI it created, is hardwired to see order even in total chaos. This is known as apophenia, the tendency to perceive connections between unrelated things. In a random system, a hot streak is just a statistical illusion with no predictive power. That pattern will have zero ability to predict the next number. This is the futile cycle of trying to predict randomness. The AI is driving by looking in the rearview mirror while the road ahead is built by chance. Let's put this into its sharpest focus. True randomness is the kryptonite for predictive AI. Artificial intelligence thrives on information. It needs data that contains signals, relationships, and cause and effect links. It needs something to learn from. A truly random process like the one used by a lottery's hardware random number generator is the antithesis of this. It is by definition, a process that generates no predictive information. It is a stream of pure noise, with no signal hidden inside. Asking an AI to predict it is like asking it to learn a language that has no grammar, no vocabulary, and no meaning. Think of it this way. An AI learning to play chess becomes powerful because chess has rules. The movement of the pieces, the goal of checkmate, the strategies that lead to victory, these are all fixed parameters. The AI learns the system by playing millions of games, recognizing which moves lead to better outcomes based on the rigid structure of the game. It finds patterns in winning strategies, but the lottery has no such structure. There are no good moves or bad moves based on past results. Every number has the exact same minuscule probability of being drawn every single time, regardless of what happened before. This is a fundamental limit that isn't about processing power. You could have a supercomputer the size of a planet, with more processing power than all of humanity combined, and it would still be no better at predicting the lottery than a person picking numbers out of a hat. It's not a matter of speed or data storage, it's a matter of logic. You cannot find a pattern where none exists. You cannot solve a puzzle that has no solution. The problem isn't that the computer isn't smart enough, the problem is that the lottery is perfectly, fundamentally dumb. It follows no logic that can be reverse-engineered, therefore the fortress of true randomness stands undefeated. The lottery's defense against prediction is not a complex wall of code or an intricate physical barrier. Its defense is its perfect embrace of chaos. It leverages a fundamental principle of the universe, that some events are inherently unpredictable. For an AI which is a tool designed to find order and meaning, this pure information-free chaos is the one opponent it can never outsmart. It cannot learn, it cannot adapt, and it cannot predict because in the world of true randomness, there is simply nothing to know. What if you could just hack the lottery? A brilliant hacker bypasses firewalls and infiltrates the lottery's central computer. This reframes randomness as a security challenge, but this misunderstands the robust security measures protecting modern lotteries. Core systems are often air-gapped, not connected to the internet. Interaction is highly controlled, making a remote break-in a virtual impossibility. It's a series of complex, interlocking security vaults. Real-world cases almost always involve an insider abusing their trust. Hacking the lottery from your laptop is pure fiction. Another myth is that with enough data and the right algorithm, you can mine past lottery results for hidden patterns. 
The thinking is that analyzing millions of draws might reveal a subtle bias. The problem is that it's based on a false premise, that past lottery data contains predictive information. But when numbers are generated randomly, the data is just noise. It's like trying to find a secret message in TV static. It's a record of past random events, not a clue to future ones. The lottery balls have no memory. Any pattern data mining discovers in random numbers is a mirage. The delusion is believing you can find order in a system designed to be disorder. There's a booming market for books and software claiming to crack the lottery code. They push myths about hot and cold numbers, or sell complex wheeling systems, all dressed up with charts and testimonials. The appeal? They promise control over pure chance, a way to turn luck into skill. But these systems just exploit our urge to find patterns where none exist. Hot number systems tell you to play recent winners, cold number systems say to play overdue numbers. Both can't be right yet both are sold as if they work. The truth neither does. In a random draw past results don't affect future odds. Wheeling systems sound sophisticated but all they do is make you buy more tickets for a shot at smaller prizes, not the jackpot. No software or system can change the fundamental odds. The only way to increase your chances is to buy more tickets, period. These products just repackage that fact in a more expensive, complicated way. They sell a false sense of agency and prey on the hope for a shortcut. But in a true game of chance, there are no shortcuts. Every ticket has the same tiny chance of winning. The allure is powerful. But the reality is simple. Luck can't be hacked. Save your money. No system can beat randomness. The lottery remains a game of pure chance no matter what anyone sells you. If you can't predict or hack the lottery, can you just buy every ticket? In the 1990s an Australian-led syndicate tried exactly that in Virginia. The jackpot was $27 million, and there were only about 7 million possible combinations. Their plan, buy every combination, guarantee the jackpot, and profit. It was a logistical nightmare, printing millions of tickets, moving money, and deploying buyers across the state. They managed to buy about 5 million combinations, over 70% of the possibilities. Luck was on their side. The winning numbers were among their tickets. They won the jackpot, but this isn't a repeatable strategy. Lotteries quickly changed the rules. More numbers, more combinations, and limits on bulk purchases. Today, Brute force buying is financially and logistically impossible. The syndicate's win was about exploiting a loophole, not beating randomness. They didn't predict the outcome, they just tried to buy every possible one. Modern lotteries have closed this door for good. The lesson? You can't outsmart chance, and you can't buy it out anymore. The odds are now simply too vast. Sometimes the problem isn't the odds, it's the system itself. Eddie Tipton, head of lottery security, secretly rigged the random number generator. He inserted hidden code that, under specific conditions, made the random draw predictable. Tipton and his associates exploited this for years, winning millions. His scheme unraveled when a suspicious win led to an investigation and eventually, his arrest. Tipton's story isn't about hacking randomness, it's about corrupting it from the inside. He didn't find a flaw, he created one. This was fraud, not prediction. His capture led to major security reforms, independent audits, hardware-based randomness, and stricter oversight. The lesson true randomness is hard to fake, but human corruption can break any system. Tipton's case is a cautionary tale, not a lottery hack. Modern lotteries are now far more secure. The real threat isn't technology, it's people. Not all lottery wins come from hacking or brute force. Jerry and Marge Selby, a retired couple, found a legal loophole in a flawed game called Cash Windfall. The game's roll-down rule meant that at certain times lower-tier prizes were so inflated that buying enough tickets guaranteed a profit. The Selbys did the math, bought tickets in bulk, and made millions, legally. They didn't predict numbers. They exploited the prize structure. Their strategy was simple play when the odds turned in their favor. They formed a group, scaled up, and followed the game to other states. Lottery officials knew but couldn't stop them. It was all within the rules. Eventually the loophole was closed and the game ended. The Selby's story is about understanding the rules, not beating randomness. They didn't outsmart chance. They outsmarted the game's design. Today such loopholes are rare and quickly fixed. The real edge comes from spotting flaws not predicting draws. Analyze the rules not the numbers. Sometimes the smartest play is knowing when the odds are in your favor. So, can a supercomputer or AI predict the lottery? The answer is a resounding no. 
Modern lotteries are built on true randomness, mechanical chaos, or hardware random number generators. AI finds patterns in data but randomness has no patterns to find. Each draw is independent with no memory of the past. Hacking is nearly impossible, data mining is pointless, any pattern is just a statistical illusion. Real-world lottery wins came from loopholes, not prediction. The Virginia Syndicate bought almost every ticket. Eddie Tipton rigged the system from the inside. The Selbys exploited a payout flaw. None of these stories involve predicting random numbers. Modern lotteries have closed these loopholes. The core randomness remains undefeated. No system, software, or AI can crack the code of chaos. The lottery is, and always will be, a game of pure chance. So what is the final lesson in our quest to see if technology can conquer chance? It's that some things may truly be beyond the reach of our predictive powers. The lottery endures not as a puzzle to be solved but as a perfect symbol of pure luck. It's a domain where every participant, from the math novice to the owner of a world-class supercomputer, stands on equal footing. There is no secret knowledge, no algorithm, and no technological shortcut that can give you an edge. This isn't a failure of our technology, rather, it's a testament to the power of a system built on the simple, elegant, and unbreakable laws of probability. The allure of the lottery lies precisely in this fairness. It is a game of what if, a tiny investment in a dream of a dramatically different life. The hope it sells is not based on skill or intelligence, but on the role of the cosmic dice. Trying to conquer it with an AI is, in a way, missing the point. It's an attempt to impose order and logic onto something whose very purpose is to be lawless and unpredictable. The beauty of the lottery for the millions who play is that you don't need to be a genius or a tech wizard to win. You just need to be lucky. While AI and supercomputers continue to solve humanity's most complex problems, curing diseases, exploring the universe, optimizing our world, the simple lottery ball tumbling in its whirlwind of air will likely remain beyond their grasp. It serves as a humble reminder that for all our incredible advances, the universe still holds pockets of perfect, irreducible randomness. It demonstrates that not every problem is a data problem, and not every unknown is a pattern waiting to be discovered. Sometimes chaos is just chaos, and chance is just chance. It's a fundamental limit that even our most powerful creations must respect. In the end, the dream of a digital crystal ball that can whisper winning numbers remains firmly in the realm of science fiction. The lottery is and will almost certainly continue to be a game of chance. So if you choose to play, don't look for a system or a technological hack. Understand the astronomical odds, play responsibly, and embrace the simple thrill of the unknown. Because when it comes to the lottery, the most powerful force you can have on your side isn't an artificial intelligence. It's good old-fashioned, unpredictable, and perhaps one day, multi-million dollar luck.